Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a video that has been a year in the making. This is my finale of my project pan. I started this back in January and I selected a um, handful of products that I said I wanted to use up by the end of 2016. And I will say that I was very successful with it. There was just a handful of products that I didn't finish and I was doing so well that I even added products throughout the year to work on as a project Pam. So anyway, I want to um, first of all do my last update on the last of the items that I was working on um, since the last update video. And then I'm going to do an overview of everything that I used and I will tell you that I actually this whole year saved all these empties from that project pan. So it's going to be nice to be able to throw all this trash away. Anyway, so let's start with the products that I was still working on during the last update and two of them was some brow products. One was the Gimme Brow from Benefit and I did finish it. Um, I can't use it anymore. It's all goopy and um, doesn't want to go on good. You can probably even see that little wand. See that wand, how icky it is? So anyway, that is done. So I did finish that. And then the um, brow gel from Anastasia, um, it is done too. And this was just a deluxe sample. So I did finish it. Now, the other products that I was working on, um, I had put these two eyeshadows in for MAC that I wanted to finish them. And then about midway, I decided that if I hit pan on them, I would be happy because I just don't hardly reach for these two eyeshadows. And it's these right here. One is called um, Fresh Daisy and the other one is called Av Avalanche. This one's Avalanche, this one's Fresh Daisy. And I did hit pan on both of those. This one I was still working on at the last update. I hadn't hit pan on it yet, but I have hit pan now. And then this one I had already hit pan um, prior to that. So I did hit pan on both of those. So I didn't finish them, but I hit pan, so I'm happy with that. And then the one product that I did not finish, and this was the product that I hated, um, this right here, the Maracuja Healing Oil Treatment. Um, you can see all my lines. I started here back in um, January, and I am down to about here probably. I mean, there's not that much left in there, so I think I really did a good job with using it considering that I didn't like it, but I am going to be glad to be able to throw this bottle away and be done. So that was the last of the products that I was working on, and I think overall I was very successful. Um, after I kind of run through just very quickly some of the products, um, I'll tell you the total dollar amount that all of this ended up being. So anyway, another hair product that I finished was the It's a 10, the Leave-In, um, Miracle Leave-In product. I didn't like this, I would not repurchase it. Okay, so I did do those two hair products. Those were the only two hair products. I had some skincare. One was the La Mer um, Moisturizer. I did not care for this. Um, for being as expensive as it is, I did not feel like it worked miracles like everyone raves about and that would definitely not be a repurchase. Now this guy right here, this from Walgreens that is less than $10 is a miracle worker and this is the Studio 35 Beauty Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream. Definitely would repurchase and I recommended this. I've actually done a whole video review on this, this product right here so definitely a good product. Um, Colleen Rothschild Face Oil Number 9, I would not repurchase this, I just didn't really care for. I feel like there's other face oils out there that work better, that are less expensive. And then the Michael Todd Concentrated Sea Serum. I just haven't been really happy with any of the Michael Todd products. 
Um, I purchased all these during the hype when everybody's YouTube channel was talking about Michael Todd. So anyway, so that was the skincare products that I used up. And then I had some perfumes. I used up four perfumes. Um, all four of them I probably won't repurchase, which I know I won't. Um, one, especially being this Nirvana White, just did not care for it. it gives me a horrible headache. Um, some Trish McAvoy perfumes. These were nice, but they're just so expensive, especially this Jasmine Peony one. This is real expensive. And then the Blackberry, I wore them together. They created a really nice fruity scent that was more um, mature, but I just cared for my um, Clinique Happy so much better. So, And then I had a Calvin Klein um, Blossom Euphoria Blossom, and this was nice, and this was definitely a, a, a recommendation. I would recommend this, but I'm just not going to repurchase. I'm trying, I'm going to try it again this coming year to really um, get my perfume collection down even further, which I've done really, really good. I had another perfume um, that I don't have the bottle because I gave the bottle to my coworker who collects bottles. It was a beautiful bottle, but it was from um, Selena Gomez and it was a beautiful fragrance. And um, once I get my collection down, I would definitely think about repurchasing it. Okay, I finished up, let's see, one, two, three, four, four foundations, one being the uh, Makeup Forever HD. I didn't really care for it. It was okay, not my favorite. Hello? Um, the It Cosmetics CC Cream, yes, I have repurchased and will continue to repurchase. Um, I think this, for me, gives perfect coverage. Um, for what I like and really enjoyed it. This was the the giant size that had came from QVC and it was in the color um, light, I do believe. And then these two products, I really did like these and this is the from Bourjois, it's the Healthy Mix Foundations. I had two that I mixed the colors. Um, let's see what colors were they? Let's see if I can find it again on here. Number 52 and number 51. And I would definitely think about repurchasing, repurchasing these also. Okay, I did have some eyeliners that I finished. And this these took all year to finish these because these were the eyeliners, the never ending eyeliners. They're from Physicians Formula. Um, I had two browns and one black. And it's the Eye Booster line and I highly recommend these. I think these are very comparable if not better than the um, Kat Von D um, eyeliners that everyone talks about and um, a lot cheaper so I would definitely um, think about those especially when you get coupons and they go on sale. Okay um, I had one concealer that I finished. Um, this will definitely not be a repurchase ever. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I didn't like this. I felt like it really creased and caked. And this is this is probably wonderful for the girls that are you know under 30 years old. But once you reach my age, which I am 48, this is not your friend. So this will be a back to MAC. Okay, I finished up two bronzers that was in my um, project pan. One was from Sephora and this is the Los Cabos um, color. It was beautiful. I loved it. Would definitely think about repurchasing but I have so many bronzers right now that I think I'm going to go on another um, no bronzer buy for 2017. I didn't buy any bronzers except for one and that was a liquid bronzer and that was just here a few weeks ago but all year I didn't buy any bronzers and then this one right here from Too Faced the Chocolate Soleil a favorite would definitely think about repurchasing that I had um, three eyeshadows that I did finish one was from NYX and a Wet n Wild and then one from um, <clears throat> Merle Norman these were all like a a flesh colored one that I used as a base on top of the lid and um, they were all okay. I, they wouldn't be any repurchase for me though. <clears throat> I 
okay. I did finish up quite, I have quite a few powders that I went through and I'm really surprised that I went through that many powders, but I went through a MAC mineralized skin finish powder and this was in light plus, um, was not my favorite. I won't repurchase that. This one I did like, but I don't think she makes this anymore. This is from Laura Geller. It's a baked elements foundation in fair. I haven't been able to find it, so it was something I got from QVC. I liked it, but we all know how it is. When you like something, it goes away. This one, um, this was the Kat Von D um, Locket Powder Foundation. This was a little bit just too heavy for what I needed. Um, I had bought it for my daughter, but it was too dark, and I, I'm not going to repurchase this for myself or for her because there's hardly any product in here for the amount of money that you spend for it. Um, it's just not economical at all. This was in a Mimi box. It was the UV Mineral Sunkill sun um, Powder. I didn't like this because it really made my face itch from the mineral and the, um, gosh, what was it? The titanium, titanium dioxide in it. It just made my face itch. So would not purchase that. And then I had a little um, deluxe travel size of the Clinique powder in, what was this? The Super Balanced. Um, powder makeup, but um, Clinique no longer makes that either. I did like it, but they don't make it. Um, a MAC Prep and Prime um, Transparent Finishing Powder. Um, it was okay. I'm not going to repurchase it, but I am going to back to MAC that little container there. Um, this was a little deluxe size sample. The Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation in Porcelain and I did like this and I'm actually um, liked it so much that I went into my collection and pulled out some um, Laura Mercier powders that I had that were just sitting there have been using those. Um, a couple of eye creams that I finished. I finished my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and the um, Maybelline Color Tattoo in Pure Nude. I finished those. A couple of mascaras that I had put on there, a Mali Volumizing Mascara and the um, Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara. I finished those. And then I had some primers, um, one being a deluxe size sample of the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Primer. It was okay, um, not just wasn't that great. Um, this one I did like, and this was the Too Faced Hangover RX. Uh, this would be a possible repurchase. And then this one here would not be a repurchase, and it was from Chanel. It's the Base Lumiere Illuminating Makeup Base. So that concludes my 2016 project pan um, project that I did. And so for the total amount, dollar wise all these products added up went through and looked up all the prices for them now hold on because it's a lot it's a lot of money that is sitting here on my table and when I look at the dollar amount and then I look at the products I'm thinking that's a lot of money for really this little amount anyway it was $1,140 was the total so anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this whole year during this project pan and I will probably be doing some more project pans in 2017. Um, I'm going to be having a new direction with my channel and I'll do a separate video on, on that, on um, the updates for my channel and what you can be expecting for 2017. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I um, hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.